CataractCoach.com CARES, C-A-I-R-S, Corneal Allergenic Interstromal Ring Segments. Now, yesterday we featured a video from Dr. Susan Jacob, a brilliant ophthalmologist, who had an idea. You know, we've been using PMA segments or plastic segments in the cornea to help bolster these irregular weak corneas from keratoconus, rectasia, etc. And she said, you know, the problem is you need a thicker and thicker segment in there to help support a weaker and weaker cornea. But the thicker you make the segment, the more the cornea complains. Because, you know, nutrients can't get around so much this big piece of plastic in the cornea. So her idea was brilliant. She said, well, why not use a piece of donor corneal stromal tissue to help bolster the weak part of the cornea? And that's just stromal tissue. And that'll be very well tolerated. And boy, was she right. Now, if you haven't heard of the podcast, you definitely have to check it out. As you know, here on Cataract Coach, we have the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. And the reason is we give you the insights and the secrets to make you a better ophthalmologist and more successful in your career. So definitely check out her podcast. It's anywhere we find podcast services. I promise you'll enjoy it a lot. But then also, let's watch this video of how she performs CARES. Again, C-A-I-R-S, Corneal Allergenic Interstromal ring segments for the treatment of keratoconus, ectasia, and irregular corneas. Check it out. Customized cares. Let's look through this concept here. So here's a patient with some keratoconus. You can see that big cone shape and terrible pre-op vision. 20 out of 200 vision here. And now there we go. There's the donor tissue. Taking off the endothelium and the epithelium. You just want the stroma there. Here's the trephine, 65 to 80. So with this, you're going to make a ring. And so then that ring can be customized. So there's the trephine, double-edged trephine there. And then there's the ring that's been taken out. You can see it's stained purple. Now this can be cut, and it can be shaped to the appropriate size for the patient. And so here we go. Now putting it here on a degree gauge. So this is a very exacting thing, and I'm sure there's a nomogram to plan this out. But you can see this epsilon surgical degree gauge where you can place this thing and determine what's the appropriate size that you want, how it's marked off in clock hours, and you get to determine how you want to place it. So there it is. That's the allogenic tissue that's going to be grafted into the patient's cornea. Now, you can see it's a little bit of a hand cut design here. There's the shape that they're looking for to bolster this area. So again, starting off here with some marks on the cornea. And then now centering up, there's the center of the pupil, and getting the orientation appropriate. Here is that path that you're making now. So you can make this path. I bet you can make it with a femtosecond laser. You can do it some other ways. You can do it a manual way. And then here it is with a Y-shaped kind of curved hook to deliver that graft there. And you can see by looking at the reflection of the rings here, it's a lot better looking. So very interesting. Obviously, the dye is going to wear off the purple ink. And then here's the pre-op versus post-op. What an improvement in vision. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com, the podcast. You will learn so much. It's every week. It's everywhere you find podcasts. It's free.